Scotland, eh? The skittle of the crack pipe, the roar of the Jeep Cherokee, the whoop of the ambulance chaser, as another illegal immigrant's hand gets caught in a tweedling. <laughs> and with a welcome from everyone. Excuse me. Oh, you can't even put that there. Unless you actually live in Govan, of course. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 you're all right, pal. It's just a wee you know, portable scum cenotaph thing, you know. I've actually expect a few of my mates here. We're going to have a wee bit of march past. <laughs> actually, come to think it, they'll probably be pissed, so it'll be more of a stagger past. No, 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 no. We can't have that sort of thing around here. You and your pals are just going to have to move on. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? It's like that. Be advised that this next rant contains some very strong spam sandwich. <laughs> See you. See you, ya! Forgive us. Mary. These pews are minging. Who's got the cleaning contract for this gaff? I don't know. Be quiet. Amen. Amen. And so concludes this anniversary service in which we remembered Bernie Nisbet, a dear friend, brother and son. Thank you all for coming and may I wish you a very happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Freeze! I'd, uh, I'd just like to thank the Reverend here. His speech was lovely, even though his jokes were honking. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to slip one of your business cards to the man in black there. Big Johnny Cash. <laughs> Honest to God. I've been like a dry stick since the menopause. I look at him. And I've got a clitoris on me. Like a beanbag floating down Bourbon Street. Listen, son, thanks to you and Lorna for coming. Not at all. It was the least we could do. Yeah, well, why she banned big eat the breed for putting an appearance? It was uh, totally cool with me. You shouldn't be so hard on your dad, Gash. I know. What happened to Burnley was all his fault. Oh, don't start, son. Look, it doesn't mean it. Look, why don't you and Mr Nisbet come round to ours tonight for dinner? You kidding? My dad's Jurassic Park and trainers. <laughs> would be around the day if the time team hadn't dug him up. Let's have something positive come out of this. If you can't forgive and forget at Christmas, when can you? Hi, Lorna's right, son. And your dad's a changed man. Honest, he's mellowed. Hey, oh, oh, my boy, see my boy. My boy was a teenage bloody drinker. Where are you buggers when we needed a documentary film crew? Dear God, he could have been strictly come dancing with you. Hey, and that ain't awful. Ouija's. I knew we shouldn't have built here. We should have moved the BBC to portray. Ha ha ha! Tell you something else. I was abused. I was abused as a child. I have an arse on me like a blood orange to this day. And no even so much as a cracker jack pencil for Eamon Andrews. Hey, uh, and if you're wondering where this is going, I'll tell you. Have you heard of YouTube? Yes. Well, this is going on my website. It's called Fuck YouTube. <laughs> a picture is worth a thousand tons. So get it right, have you? You bastards. I hope you're listening to this, Bernie, son. Ah, uh, still makes me proud to be Scottish. A man in fire being kicked to death by the friendliest airport staff in the world. <laughs> If only Jeremy Clarkson been under the wheels, it would have been the end to a perfect day. <laughs> don't get it. It's just another ram raid. Uh, Rab's boy was killed in a ram raid. He didn't make the world news. Well, there's a lesson for us all. You ram an airport, you're making a political gesture. If you ram a paper shop, you're just another numpty blagging milky ways. <laughs> Andrew. What? <laughs> what the Irish is on that? 
I'm getting a semi. No eyes, I'm looking at. Relax, it's an iPod. <laughs> I know that voice. You're not a Muslim. You're wee more if you say Constantine. I am so a Muslim. I've converted. Since when? Since she met me on a gay website, OK? <laughs> Muslims aren't allowed to be gay. All oh, right. So we like the attention we get for being victimised. Have you got a problem with that? Not at all. If you're as ugly as your pal, I'm glad you've got the good taste to pump a bin bag out of your napper. At least we recognise religious faith, not like yous. That is offensive. As it happens, we are on our way to a memorial pilgrimage this very instant. Cut her. Oh, eh? I see all blue eyes is back. Eh? What are you like? You're like some new the non-swing at Belmar. <laughs> You're too old for heroin chick. Not so much Pete Doherty as Tommy Bloody Doherty. Oh, would have sufficed, Rab. You pair were supposed to meet me at Squinty Bridge. What the hell happened? Oh, sorry, Rab. No, we, we became embroiled in a theological discussion with these two devout young scissor sisters here. You're a prick. I like to think so. <laughs> you pair have let me down. This... This is the anniversary of Bernie's death. I know, Rab. We're coming. You're too bloody late now. Died on this very day, he did. In the site of the old garden festival. I remember, Rab. That's why we bought this tribute. It's life-size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's your game? It's Christmas. So I'll wrap tinsel round it before I concuss you with it. Fair enough. <laughs> Sick, that's sick. Oh, how I missed you all, eh? The heady to and fro of the alehouse discourse. You're nothing but a bunch of keeks, a lot of you. Rab, don't be keekist. <laughs> I'll see you at the temperance meeting later on, OK? Don't you come anywhere near my temperance meeting. You are barred, boy, barred. I will temper alone. I will temper alone. <laughs> What a decade it has been, eh? First, science mapped the genome, then I discovered the cooker. <laughs> ah, I'll tell you one thing about cooking in 2008. It doesn't help keep you fit, I'll tell you that. If you run away down the supermarket, buy this stuff before the price goes up again, then you have to run all the way back and cook it before the price of the gas goes up again. Aye, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. You'll have gathered down now what's called a house husband. Well, that's, uh, that's your actual PC name for it, you know. Underneath, once you take the tea cosy off, it's actually called Bullless Bastard. Rob! <laughs> Aye! Ah, oh, God. Yes, I look after the family now. There's me, her, and Bernie's ghost. Honestly, God, it's like Strindberg in here with glottal stops. Get a move on! I'm coming! That lunch should be on the table when I come in, you know. I'm a wanton woman. Furl your feminist banner and stick it back in your boiler suit. Your scran is ready. <laughs> does it look nice? What does it matter what it looks like? I'm going to eat it, no hang it in the tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What a morning I have had. <laughs> I'm saying, what a morning I have had. <laughs> Look, Rab, I got one lousy hour for my lunch. Gonna let me read my paper in peace? Oh, I see you've got the anorexia back. <laughs> Try not to think of it as a fish supper, Mary. Try to think of it as deep fried sushi. Good afternoon. Ditch the dirt, mock the ming. Be squeaky clean with the hoose mice. Mary Mouse speaking. How can I help you? Mary, don't keep doing the full spiel, Hen. It uses up all my three minutes. It does my napper and... Oh, sorry, Ella. Listen, sling your Archibald pronto. We've got a rush job on. Up the West End. The West End? At last. <laughs> exactly. Claret stains, mouldy brie, furry couscous hiding under the chest freezer. <laughs> We're moving up the filth league. I'm on it. 
Um, I know. What we trying to have here? Have you suddenly joined Charlie's Angels now? <laughs> um, I know. Oh, you'll never guess, Charlie. <laughs> We've got a soiled carpet incident in Hell Head. <laughs> We're probably going to need a SWAT team. Uh, what, 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 what's happening now? What, what, what with this lunch? <laughs> How can I put this so as not to gloat? Oh, wait a minute. I can't. So let's just wind the clock back, will we? See you. See me. See that door. I will tell you this lady. <laughs> when I go out that door, I don't know what day of the week I'll be back, never mind what time. Ringing any bells, Rab? I've had enough of this. You treat that house like a hotel. Oh, and what's your next line? I'm going to hand it to my mother. If I could dig her up, I would. <laughs> well, we all have our stories. And you all know mine. I was away to hell with a drink. Every morning I would get up and I would have a hair of the dunk. The trouble was. Oh, I ended up with was a baldy duck. <laughs> but now, now, now I am happy. H A P V Y. I do not require drink. I can get high on a sunset. To wit, I am reborn. Praise him! Praise him! <laughs> My heart skips with joy on hearing a lark. I am filled with. Oh, 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 what you getting eh? What? Don't you shake your jowls at me. <laughs> maybe, maybe you think I'm no happy. Is that it? Eh? Maybe, maybe you'd like to step outside and we'll have a wee debate about who's the most spiritually serene here. You or me, eh? Maybe you want to bring on a wee meanness from me. Is that it? Very good choice, brother. Very, very good choice. Because, you see, I'm a revisionist. I don't deal with that turning the other cheek pitch. There <laughs> was a. I see friends holding hands, saying, How do you do? They're really saying, I love you. What are you about? Cotter, what are you doing here? You're bad. Are you all born again? Christ, what a waste of an epidural. <laughs> I brought a piece off him. Ta da! <laughs> get it! Get it! This is a temperance meet! Go up, pop, bloody bench! <laughs> Where was it? I'm H-E-P-P-Y. I'm H-E-P-P-Y. I know I am, I'm sure I am. There you go, one soul latte. Well, I'm the small, medium, and large. Eh, uh, does it matter? It's the same thing. Well, if it's the same thing, why change it? You want you want me to tell you why it's not the same thing? That's two pounds, please. That's it. That's your answer right there. Two quid for a half a cup of milky steam enhanced by a suggestion of coffee so meagre. That would make you think you'd forgot to wash the cup out after the last customer. <laughs> the only tall thing about this boy is the size of the rip-off. Whatever. Have a nice day. You're on a fiver an hour. What the hell do you care? What kind of day I have? Yeah, stumor. <laughs> no quite at home with Boulevard Cafe culture, are you there? Oh, here we go. Get Sarkozy here. Listen, I remember when two quid could get a man drunk. Ah, but you can get sick of Jay's fluid. <laughs> What's in your mind? It's everything. Trying to kick this swally. Gashing Mary, blaming me for Bernie. What about you? Ah, oh, I'm still a terrible man my whole rub. <laughs> mind you, I'm having to troll the bosman into the market these days. Uh, widows, the morbidly obese, grateful, disabled, that type of gear. Can I tell you something? Anything. Mary and I don't sleep together anymore. Jimmy. You mean? 
You've got separate beds. No, we're on a training scheme for NASA. We float above the duvet weightless trying not to smudge the anacalypta with KY jelly. Hurry, hurry. What about you and Hela? You still? Oh. Occasionally. But only if you're behind. But it suits us base, because that way she doesn't need to look at my cooking. And I don't need to watch her playing Sudoku. <laughs> Just to tell her, Abdul, now that I'm an aging maestro, a pull of a pussy has pulled of late. <laughs> Women surrender a fanny too easy these days. There's no challenge anymore. Now, call me a heretic. I think the anus could be the new vagina. <laughs> what are you driving it? I'm no doctor. I think you're suffering from sexual frustration. You think so? Rab, you've got load rage. Load rage? <laughs> Look, Mary, a full fridge on a Thursday. That is living the dream, isn't it? Oh, that's the worst end for you. Come here, you got a swatch of this, Ella. It's like nothing you've ever seen in your life. Why? What is it? Govan. <laughs> Funny how, for a distance, even purgatory can look like Henley and Thames, eh? It's him. Hello, Raven. Or may I call you the John Knox of the Sticky Pew? Mm. You see, Rab, since you became a house husband, you've lost your edge. You think so? Oh, I, you've been de -balled. And if there's anything a woman hates, it's having to fight her man for a femme fresh. You trust me, Rab. Mary, there's lost respect. That's it. That's it. I'm going to have to stop stotting about Govan like a big post-operative transvestite. <laughs> I'm going to have to get my balls back out of puffs. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no, 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 I'm not going to bite my drink. You can cut that out right now. It's self, self, self for you, ain't it? <laughs> what about your pals? We need a chronic alcoholic in our lives. It takes a bad look after Estius. <laughs> I can't risk it, I can't risk it. I'll, 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 I'll have to get my edge back some other way. In that case, there's only one thing for it. Surprise her. How do you mean? Keep her on her toes. Don't always have her dinner ready on the table. I think I'll work. Rab, I am a two-faced twisted manipulator. I'm in touch with my feminine side. <laughs> Never <laughs> underestimate the element of... What do you think you're doing? Grazing! This is your Serengeti. Now, buck it off, gone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're one of these BBC tourags. Oh, here we go. The Daily Doe's a class prejudice. How lovely it is to be back in bra Caledonia. Eh, wait a minute. Do I know you? Possibly. Was it Ascot? Eaton? <laughs> and then I walk past your cage in the dog home and get a shih tzu instead. <laughs> <laughs> Get it up, Get it up, Ups. Listen, you hearing me. Don't you think you own this place, boy? Just... Just because you own this place. <laughs> to get this gas guzzling tank, do your midden pronto before I leave my carbon footprint right up your archibald. You got it. Big hugs, Biffo. <laughs> it's so Biffo to you, you wank of a girl! You better beware. You better take care. You better watch out if you've got long black hair. Oh, my God. Great days, eh? Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. You must be the house mice. Well, not the full nest. I'm Mary Mouse. Uh, my partner's been called away to Paisley on God's work. This God day, Paisley. He likes a challenge. <laughs> a minute. Is it Mary Regan? Guilty. Front row, second for the right. Oh, wait a minute. You're Frankie Owen, oh my God. My God. 
I was mad about you. I haven't seen you since... Well, since you dumped me for that other guy. That good-looking, go-getting dude. What was his name again? Rab Nisbet. What <laughs> happened to Rab? He married me. <laughs> then he went on to have a long and glittering career in the drunken arsehole business. <laughs> Still, as long as you're happy, eh? I take it you are happy. I'm for govern, Frankie. Who is they? Me too. I divorced last week. Cock a hoop. Well, I better get going. It was lovely to see you again. Oh, no, no, don't go. Stay a while. I can't. I've got a dentist surgery next. Oh, who's got teeth in govern? Come on, stay <laughs> for a wee drink. Mary. Megalips. Oh, God. Nobody's called me that in years. Oh, look at me. I'm pure beaming. <laughs> hey, Mary. Do you remember these? What are they? Two tickets for the Beat Stalkers. Their first date, remember? You've kept them all these years? Of course. Hey, do you remember our song? Oh, what was it? Uh, everybody's talking about my baby. That's it. Aye. <laughs> hey, come on, what'll it be? Whiskey, gin, or... I'll just fling you in the hearth rug and be a sugar chocolate machine. <laughs> Stop! Oh, what time do you call this? Where the hell have you been? Hey, I've got a job, unlike you, wafting about the house all day, plumping cushions. Give me the chips. The club, are you? Oh, so what? I hate posh dinners, tiny wee amounts. Haven't eat before you eat. Mm. I feel like I've had to come out of the room. Who's that? I was in the box of fun and half. Hello. Hello! <laughs> That, that was lovely, Lorna. Well, I was pure ravenous. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I was a bit concerned about serving up a vegetarian dinner. Oh, no, it's all that, Joe. We love leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we're practically vegetarians for sale, so we are, aren't we, Ralph? Uh, apart from the mutton pies and the bears, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how times change. <laughs> See, when I was young, taking exercise meant smoking faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, joking apart, food's uh, not really a laughing matter. When the world climates are on the brink of collapse, there's leaves in the trees in the middle of winter, and yet all people care about is like, a few points on the Dow Jones Index. Guess she's very passionate about saving the planet. He believes nature's a moral issue. Oh, well, he's always uh, been very big on the morals, you know. <laughs> Rab. So, how is my wee Peaches day and then, son? Oh, uh, that's a touchy subject. I don't like the way her mother's bringing her up. Her new man's a skank. Yeah, well, you should maybe try sending her a wee bit more child support, eh? Watch the peach blossom. <laughs> Leave it, Rab. Oh, who are you to lecture me? Bernie and I never had a family life. Ah, oh, garbage, you had plenty of bloody family life. Fair enough, maybe it was a mansion family, but your mother used it up, mate. Eh? <laughs> Listen to him, Lorna. He's just jealous cos I've got out and I've done something with my life. And it's his fault Bernie isn't alive today. He's the one that started him on the drink. Gosh, not now, son. Ah, look at him now, turning religious because he's old, he's guilty and he's scared. He's a walking cliché. Pudding anyone? <laughs> I know exactly what I'm... Failure to me is a character test. I sit every day, every, every smackhound, every gyro jake, he knows exactly what they are. They don't have to be told. And I'll tell you furthermore, that's for religion. Religion. I was a drowning man. And when your head's going down for the third time and somebody throws you a lifeline, you don't start quibbling about the quality of the bloody rope. You just grab a hoddy, that's what you do, and you hang on for dear bloody life. Oh, get real, da. My brother was burnt to a crisp on a joyride. And looking back, it was overkill having him cremated. <laughs> Gosh! That's sweetheart. 
That's Mary Dell. Did you bring your arse with you? I never leave the house without it, sweetheart. Well, reacquaint it with a leather pronto, will you, darling? Lorna Hen. Yes, Mrs. Nesbitt? Pudding would be divine. Right. Catch me away in my bed. Rob. Yes, Mary Allen. I was proud of you the night. I liked what you said about your beliefs. Thanks, Mary Sweetheart. That that means a lot to me. <laughs> uh, Mary Allen. Yes, Rob, sweetheart. Uh, just a wee throw away fleeting thought kind of thing, but uh, seeing as how I'm in your good books, any chance that we snuggle up? How can I put this without hurting your feelings? See if I was marooned on Fanny Island, and there was nothing but Fannies as far as the eye could see. I spotted a footprint in the sand and I discovered that that footprint was made by Rab Two Cocks Nest, but I wouldn't take a lady they two cocks to rub together and make a fire. That's how much chance you have of a wee snuggle up. Are you reading me, Rab? Oh, yes. L loud and clear, Mary, loud and clear. No shimmer, poor request. <laughs> Night then, sweetheart. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> right. That's it. My gloves are off. Hello, Raven. So forgot to call me. Oh. oh, hello, Frank. Sorry to be ringing so late. Uh, just thought I'd let you know that I'd love to go ahead with the cleaning contract. But in one condition. That, um, Mary, and only Mary, does for me. Deal? I'll tell her. I'm sure it'll be fine. Thanks. Bye. Who was that? Was that him again? Who? Cretan Jesus, the hoodlum priest. <laughs> you want to watch him? That holy bam's grooming you. He is not. I'm grooming myself. <laughs> Anyway, you're one to talk. Are you still on that bumhole.com? <laughs> no, I'm on Facebook. The last place on earth where a man can give a woman a poke without getting his cooking slapped. <laughs> Are there two Fs in sphincter? <laughs> it's funny how when you stop drinking, people say you. Oh, well done. Congratulations. You must be very proud of yourself. When I say, what they really mean is, what a boring bastard. <laughs> at least when he was pissed with his head in the soup, you got to laugh at him, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you, Carter was right about one thing. You've got to stay one step ahead of the game. And I pride myself. That is exactly what I do. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Is that you, Mary Dalt? Aye, that's me, Rob. My lunch better be on the table. It certainly is. <laughs> Surprise! What <laughs> you guys are doing that? I was just telling it. <laughs> Anybody fancy chips? What? That's never happened, right? <laughs> I am hot. Please lie there. the table. The best buddy. I know what you can see. This is dirty, but. Add salty season, a touch of oregano, and, and serve with sun dried tomatoes just to bring out the flavour of it. No. All right, boys. <coughs> oh, it's yourself, <laughs> Rab. I never recognised you with your kegs on. 
Oh, jeez. Hey, slow down, hey, slow down. I'm the laughing stock of government now, am I? Oh, relax, Rab. I haven't told another soul. All right, Rab. Listen, I've just made some soup. Want to know what kind? Cock a leaky. Why that feet? Why that feet? Knock yourselves in. Oh, don't be like that. We, we all make mistakes. The only mistake I made was listening to you. How's it my fault? You wouldn't get Hugh Fenley whitting stole thrown at a dinner party and then lying at the table with his buzz hanging in a frying pan, would he? Gordon Ramsay would. Ah, but he's a hun. It's your own fault, Rab. Your life went tits up as soon as you swore half the drink. That is some corkscrew rider logic, even by your standards. Rab, don't misunderstand me here. Now, I respect your beliefs, even though to me they are a pile of shite, however. I say unto you, is not the swally part of God's holy plan? Did he himself not give us communion, Betty? He gave us bloody poppy fields as well. But he didn't he say, ye verily, I will not lie in your own pitch in a floor and inject my holy essence up your pumper, did he? <laughs> Face it, huh? You did not give up the drink through strength. You gave it up through weakness. Hmm. The fact is, Rab, you are feared in a swally. You think so? Terrified. Over oh, teensy, weensy, wee pain. <laughs> Real shit at that. Any thunderbolts? Am I cowering in fear in the corner? No, because ye verily, my faith protecteth me. <laughs> Where are you looking at? Rob, ask me back, and I've got pepper spray. <laughs> Better just be my dinner on the table, no your bloody giblets. Rob? What's the point? What's the point of getting pissed and feeling guilty? No point. I, I be like eating sweeties when the, the rapper's still on. Hey, 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 y'all. How y'all getting on? Isn't a nice Christmas? Eh? It's season of good cheer. Eh? Yeah, vassals eat up. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop the bus! Stop the bus! My whole life is in that song. Hey, I'm not here, I'm not here. 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 I walk a lonely road, the only road that I have. You're right, Jamesy. What's the matter? It's not. But it's home to me. Mary, I need to say something. The fact is, uh, I'm going away. I see. And you need a bent solicitor? <laughs> no, I'm not going away to jail. I mean, I'm leaving Glasgow. Oh. You see, I made a mistake coming back here, Mary. 
being in Govan for me, it's like wearing a too tight pair of shoes. Tin pot chuchters and wee neds with sweaty fit tops, might to stab you with potato peelers. I've had it. I'm heading back to Highgate. The insanity's uh, just a bit less toxic than that. And I want you to come with me. What do you say? What do I say? Well, Christ almighty, it springs to mind. It's a hell of a big step. You think so? I'll tell you this, Mary, I mean, that man of yours, he must be quite a guy. Judging by the loyalty that you give him, eh? It's not just that. I mean, govern for you might mean a too tight pair of shoes, but for me, it's a pair of tartan slippers. It's what I know. And Rab's just like me. He's, he's doing the earth. Oh, you're oh, a fucking you got me. Oh, you have me. You're a dazzle. You. Oh, it's you. Yeah, touchy filly. I got a fucking bastard that you are. <laughs> One sec, come on. Square, a square go. Come on, come on ahead. Come on. What are you in here? No, no, no. That's enough. Get up, Rob. Oh, is that a shipyard collection I have? <laughs> I know. It is my darling wife, Mary. <laughs> Hello there, Mary doll. Mary. It's... Wait a minute. You... Do you know this wallop? Listen, he's one of my bloody clients. A client? <laughs> oh, well, why am I not surprised? <laughs> because I'll tell you, paying for it is the only way anybody would ever get a jump off you, ladies. <laughs> and I'll tell you, listen, you can forget about ale. Because I can't even get in the front door. Never mind the back. You frigid cow, eh? The Icelandic banking system is more liquid than she is. <laughs> We've got a rom com banter there, Mary Doll. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, such laps, Pibble Chip. Such laps. <clears throat> I have let myself down. I've let you down. I've let my faith down. I went out and I got bluetooth. <laughs> I got torn right into the swally. <laughs> and you know what? It tasted great. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. You have Joe's a good flap. You have my blessing. Most of you grew up in the same streets as me. Most of you threw up in the same streets as me. <laughs> you know, when I was at school, the teacher said to me, Nesbitt, don't bother learning to count to 50. Because you'll be dead by the time you're 45. But we know now it doesn't have to be that way. Because with the right support, everybody, everybody in this room can make it. The trouble is, I'm not the right support. That is why I'm resigning. As chair of this group. So, true. You know, and may God, that hairy ass, invisible, tantalizing lunatic, <laughs> go with you. Friar tucked my good works image there, didn't I? 
<laughs> See, when you get right down to it, right down to the bottom line, there actually is no bottom line. We're all teetering round the room with a great big glass whistling Dixie trying not to fall in. Some live the dream, I live the scream. <laughs> what about you, lady? What about me? Well, are you leaving me or what? Because if you're, you're chucked. Yeah, I get in first. <laughs> Frankie did ask me, I'll no deny it. But all him and me have got in common's the past. I've moved on. I'm building a business now. I could end up as the Anita Rodica shite. And I could help you. I wish you'd get it in your nap of it. I love you, you daft bitch. <laughs> and I love you, you honking midden. <sighs> All right, gaffer. Mrs Nesbitt. Hey, wait, wait. What are you doing here? Sorry, it wasn't locked. It's just some of us got talking after you left. Listen, it doesn't matter that you thought it had a wee lapse. <laughs> if anything, it, it brought us closer together. I mean, if you can fall, uh, fall back, then, then, then any of us can. But the important thing is that, that we help each other, right? You, you say so yourself, right? Guys. Yeah. Rab. You're a bad-tempered, opinionated pain in the arse. Oh, you skip the flattery. We're not here to flatter you. We're here to say we want you back, cos you are exactly what we need. Oh, aye, aye. Aye. He's right, missus. Your man's a dork, but he's a dork with a heart. I don't know what he's done in the past, but he's made up for it now. I'm getting my wains back for the social services next week. I'm that excited. And see, without him, it never happened. Remember Wayne's Mary? Big in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, well, apart from him, he was a sideboard ornament till he was 15. <laughs> Listen, we were going to give you a Christmas carol then we thought for um, fiddlesticks. This seemed more fitting. Two, three, and... No! I taught them everything they know. Here you go. Here you go. Pizza.